Okay, before I start today's duck station in how to enhance Crash Bandicoot, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, plus it really helps my channel out. I really appreciate that. So we're looking at enhancing Crash Bandicoot. This is the original Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation 1 using the very awesome and very well maintained and constantly updated duck station so what we're going to do first of all is actually take a look at the default settings for crash bandicoot okay as we can see here i've got my properties displayed for crash bandicoot in duck station what i'm going to do first is just go down to graphics and as we can see everything here is default settings so internal resolution is at one times native that's the original resolution of what crash bandicoot was intended for at the time of release in the 90s uh, everything else is literally just here at default um, even under adapter i'm not going to select my graphics cards for this yet i'm literally going to run this at default just so you can get a real good glimpse of how this game in particular looked originally so let's just just open up this game and play the first stage on it as originally intended to by the developers back in the 1990s. Okay, and as you can see just there, this game in particular, it's not really aged that well. Uh, you know, given this game came out, what, around 1995, 1996, and of course, at the time, it was uh, very much a groundbreaking game, and obviously today, it's pretty much one of Sony PlayStation's mascots. So anyways, let's take a look at video settings and actually get this to the best which we can get through duck station. So let's go back into properties. From here, what we're going to do is just take a look at graphics. Now, the first thing which I'm gonna change for Crash Bandicoot, and let me just remind you that these settings aren't for every PlayStation 1 game using duck station. Uh, some games are gonna work fine, where others aren't gonna work so great. So just be mindful that these particular settings aren't gonna apply for every PlayStation game out there. So first thing you should be doing is go into your adapter. Now, if you've got a graphics card like I've got the RTX, I'm going to select the RTX just here, just so we can get some real oomph out of the computer itself. Now, if we drop down to internal resolution, what I'm going to do is bump this one up to nine times native for 4K. And I'm going to drop down to down sampling, and I'm going to drop this one down to adapted, preserve 3D, smooth 2D. Texture filtering, I'm going to put this one down to bilinear, no edge blending. Aspect ratio, I'm going to drop this one down to 4.3. Now, thing is, we can actually put this to stretch to fill, or we can put it to 16 by 9 but your games are going to look very stretched. Now, there is widescreen hacks, of course, on Duck Station, but as Duck Station warns us, that some games aren't going to survive with it. They're going to look really bad. It's going to make the game look worse than what we're trying to do with it. So for this game in particular, I'm going to put this one to 4x3, the original aspect ratio of Crash Bandicoot. 
Under the interlacing, I'm going to leave this one to adaptive fast mad, so that's fine to leave this one on default. I'm going to also leave crop to only over scan area, and under scaling, I'm going to put this one onto bilinear smooth. I'm going to check true color rendering. I'm also going to check PGXP geometry correction. I'm going to go down to disable interlacing. I'm going to check PGXP def buffer low compatibility. And finally under this section, I'm also going to check FMV chroma smoothing. Next up, I'm going to just go to the advanced tab. I'm going to leave screen position as sensor. Under rendering options, I'm going to drop down multi sampling tab and I'm going to put this one onto 8 times MSAA. I'm going to enable true color debanding. And finally close, and then we're going to open up the game again and see how this looks with these new settings. And as you can see, by applying those new video settings, Crash Bandicoot has got a new lease of life in it. It looks amazing. So just remember that not every PlayStation game using Duck Station is going to give you the same results as these particular settings. A different type of PlayStation 1 games and Duck Station will require very different settings. For example, if we apply widescreen, uh, some games might accept it, some might not. So just remember, if you think you might go out your way and start changing your video settings and you find a lot of lag, there's a reason for that. So I've actually tailored this video specifically for Crash Bandicoot. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.